It's mm -hmm. rich in, in a iron titanium mineral called uh, And earth. so, you know, we've done a lot with the samples we have, and we've learned a lot about the moon and about the rest of the solar system. While our sights are once again set on our lunar neighbor, this time we're, we're not content with uh, just leaving behind footprints or even to leave it all. Time has come, we really, really believe, for the United States of America to take what we have learned over these so many decades, put your ingenuity and creativity to work, and establish a permanent presence around and on the moon. with the Congress to provide an unprecedented $500 million to move the lunar orbital platform from proposal to production. We're only a few short years away from launching the Gateway's first building blocks into space, turning science fiction into science fact. And our administration is working tirelessly to put an American crew aboard the lunar orbital platform before the end of 2024. Men and women of the Johnson Space Center, it's not a question of if. It's just a question of when. Just this week, the Pentagon released a report showing that China is aggressively weaponizing space. Russia, too, is developing and testing new and dangerous weapons and technologies to counter America's space capabilities. Well, let me assure my fellow Americans here, our administration is committed to keep America ahead of our adversaries in this critical domain. And as we speak...